In this video, we will show you how to create parameter presets in HiQnet Audio Architect. As an example, we will create presets which allow us to switch between two 7.1 sources. Drag a blue 160 into the Room 1 tab and select your card configuration. Then, double-click on the icon to open the DSP configuration window of the device. Right-click to add a source matrix. For this example, we'll make it a 16 by 8 matrix. Name it appropriately. Make sure you're offline and have the Offline Design tab selected at the top left. In the Tools section of the ribbon, click on the Parameter Presets icon to change to the Preset ribbon, which will also open the Parameter Preset window and the Venue Explorer pane. Click on the Preset group in the Parameter Preset window to change its name. We'll name it Source Selection for this example. After you've named the Preset group, expand the Venue section of the Venue Explorer to expose the source matrix that you created earlier. In this example, we want to be able to change all the parameters in the source matrix. To do this, expand the source matrix and drag the object into the source selection preset group. You will then see all the parameters in the preset group you've created. Or you can simply drag individual parameters if you do not need every parameter in the object. After you've added the parameters you want into the preset group, click on the DSP tab to open the configuration window. Open the control panel for the source matrix or other object and set the parameters to the values you wish to have recalled. Click on the parameter presets tab to go back to the parameter presets window and click the New Preset button to add a preset to the Source Selection preset group with the current values of the parameters in the source matrix. Double-click on the preset name to change it. For this example, we'll name it DVD1. Click the DSP tab again and open the control panel for the source matrix or other object and set the parameters to the values you wish to have recalled. Go back to the Parameter Presets window and click the New Preset button to add a preset to the Source Selection preset group with the current values of the parameters in the source matrix. Double-click on the preset name to change it. For this example, we'll name it DVD2. Note, the number in brackets behind the preset name is the preset ID, which is used for third-party control. You can then use the Recall button in the ribbon to recall the selected preset. The preset can be confirmed on the object's default control panel. This can be done offline and without hardware. These presets reside within the devices on the network, so Audio Architect does not need to be running on the network for these presets to work. At the top of each object's control panel is the panel preset bar. This allows the user to create and recall presets for the controls shown on that panel. This mechanism is specific to Audio Architect and requires Audio Architect to be running on the network. A panel preset cannot be triggered externally by serial messages. You've now successfully created parameter presets in HiQnet Audio Architect. If you have any questions, please visit www.bssaudio.com.